Hi, Remy. Hey, Franz. What are you reading? Uh, I just wrote a blog for our website, oh. which is on the most common mistake made in a Scrum Sprint review. Okay. Is it uh, interesting for maybe a next vlog or? Well, we could do that. It's a bit Scrum specific, but it's it's worth doing because the the sprint review is all about getting feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, many starting Scrum teams don't use it for a feedback event, but they use it as a kind of acceptance event. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they're really postponing themselves and making things slower than necessary. Okay. And that's the most, the most common mistake for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, that's what's happened in most companies. In, okay. Instead of inviting stakeholders and showing what you're doing, mm -hmm. there's a product owner who's accepting in this session and okay. postponing all the feedback till the end. That sounds an interesting topic. Uh, Let's tape Should it. I try to make a summary and then yeah. tape it? Yeah, definitely. We're going to do this. Okay, let's do that. Do you have a pen? Yep. Yeah. You're going to write it out? Yep. Okay. See you. Okay. Yeah. Feedback in software development is crucial. There's this great video by Jeff Sutherland which explains why feedback tends to make software development go really, really fast. At the end of the sprint, uh, the motto that we had when we started Scrum, uh, I had worked uh, near, in a previous company near MIT uh, with the Media Lab there, and their motto was demo or die. So at the end of every sprint, we were going to demo real working software to people who would use the software and get their feedback, because it's the feedback cycle that tends to really make development go fast. In this video, Jeff says that it's feedback that makes development go really fast. But why is that? Well, it's because you get an early correction on the stuff that is not correctly understood. That's one reason. The other reason is that because you show working software, people tend to use it earlier and the less valuable stuff is never developed. But the most important thing why it makes so f so fast is that in many projects, in many plans, there's so much waste in there. And you don't discover it until you start pulling feedback forward. And then you start learning what's valuable and what's not. And the stuff that's not valuable, you shouldn't develop. So that's the reason why development tends to go so fast. Well, there's in Scrum this crucial meeting, which is the sprint review, also often referred to as demo. Well, in the sprint review, you invite stakeholders to give them feedback on your software. Feedback on the business case, feedback on the usability, feedback on whether it really helps them or not. That's the idea of the sprint review. That's why we call it a review. Well, in practice, I often see it being done as a, as a meeting of the product owner. The product owner comes in, the team demos their work, and he says, well, this is fine, and I accept that. That's a crucial mistake, because that's not feedback, that's acceptance. That is traditional thinking. It will be ready in the end and then we will confront users with it and then we will get their feedback. But you have to pull this feedback forward. So the sprint review is really the meeting of the product owner. Invite your stakeholders. Show them working software. Let them be inspired and give you ideas of more and higher business value. Show them the product backlog. They are there. So let them not only give feedback on working software, but also feed forward on the plans you have in your backlog. That's what the sprint review is about. Scrum is about feedback. Scrum is about learning. That's the way you go faster. So, the takeaway is that the sprint review is about feedback. Learning, learning, learning by involving your stakeholders. It's not an acceptance event. It's all about learning. This video blog is sponsored by ProAwareness. And uh, Frans, have you taped it? Yeah, really, it's a wrap. And what do you think about it? Well, this direct, uh, direct feedback uh, reminds me of the weekend. Uh, no. Why? Well, I put this picture of my mother-in-law in the refrigerator. Inside the refrigerator? It's helping me on my diet. How? Well, each time I open the refrigerator, I get direct feedback and I close it as fast <laughs> as I can. <laughs>